We've got the gravy here. We have fennessy, which is roasted sunflower that they grind down. It makes this very nice sauce. We put it on our pepper soup. We put it on dry rice. We've got fried fish, plantain, pepper, palm oil. It's like a plethora of greatness. Dry rice. What? So, dig in. Let's try it out. <laughs> Let me try out this one. You don't need my opinion because it's my food. So I'm gonna be naughty. <laughs> Come on, anyway, boy. yeah, man. You can do it. I'm, like for real, I've been eating a lot of things, and uh, <laughs> I, I need water. <laughs> pepper? Is it the pepper? <laughs> You said you like hot things though. Oh my goodness. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I know that I didn't warn you. So we're known for our pepper. More than you expected? <laughs> I'm sweating, bro. <laughs> <laughs> But beyond the pepper, how's the taste? It's on another level. Like, it tastes so good. Is <laughs> that like peanuts? Some people put peanuts. I'm not sure. I'm not going to try because I have a peanut allergy. But okay. we put peanut butter in yeah. our cassava peanut butter, yeah. Yeah, in our no, It's so good, apart from being spicy. And I love the fact that it's palm oil because I love palm oil. We, have, we A lot of our food is palm oil based. So you even ask, you hear people asking, should we add palm oil? Because it's not the most healthy thing, right? Yeah. But it's delicious. So you have cassava leaf. Cassava leaf, you can make it fried, or you can make it with bread oil, palm oil. Like, no, when and you always make everything with pepper. Enjoy the food, but the pepper alone, I don't want to go for the second time. Okay, so let's try the dry rice. That's not going to be too peppery. Come on, food connoisseur. Like I'm sweating, man. <laughs> right? yeah. I'm not lying when I say we got hot pepper. It's the so hottest, good. yeah. I love the taste. I really love the taste, but just the pepper. Liberians, I think we might eat the, the most amount of pepper. Too spicy. You guys have no idea what I'm saying. Too spicy. What? I'm good for the second food. I hope I like this one. I, I'm not saying I don't like it. I love it, but the pepper is too much for me. Yeah, but um, so this is dry rice. It's a medley of things. We usually eat it on Saturdays. So we go to restaurants on Saturdays. Yeah, we call it dry rice Saturdays. Liberians like to eat certain dishes on certain days. So dry rice is usually reserved for Saturday, but it should be on an everyday menu because it's one of my favorites. Better? Less pepper? <laughs> Less pepper. Delicious. That's red oil. And uh, you know, you guys, if you watch my videos, you know that I love fish. I love anything protein. Yeah, this one contains a lot of protein. Yeah. Because you have the egg, the sausage, the fish, the red oil combination. And it's like pepper. Gravy, a gravy, gravy. with pepper, yeah. And we make, we make, like here in the north, we're making pepper sauce. Wow. So wow. they'll take the hot peppers, the plant, pepper, boil it down, make it soft enough to mash into a sauce. Mm -hmm. And this they bottle it up. And they put pepper in every dish that they cook, but then they take the pepper sauce and pile it on top. <laughs> so you're eating uh, something that had pepper cooked in it, not even pepper sauce added onto it. <laughs> Liberians are known for burning their mouths. You can see them eating, they'll be sweating, all their sinuses will be cleared, they'll be <laughs> but they'll still be eating. And it'll be so good to them. <laughs> That's why I need to eat this one, eh? <laughs> Clear all your sinuses. <laughs> 
This is so delicious. Yeah, this one is so good. So good. It's one of my favorites. I'm not gonna lie. So, it's so good. I knew it would be. You guys, are you gonna come eat? If you have never been to Liberia, we're gonna lie to you. This is what you've been missing. So you let's eat this in the morning. But in case if I eat this in the morning, which means I'm not going anywhere. Exactly. When I, I don't eat it see. in the morning. I reserve it for, you know, dinner time, lunch time. But mm. people co come to work every morning, and their breakfast is a bowl this size. Um, it is it's part of the culture. It's part of the culture. And I'm glad that I, I became part of this culture. <laughs> because this is just a food that if you don't eat this, this is what you're missing. I wish I can show you how to cook it. And you can cook this in your various homes. Because, oh my God. No, that's what I love. I'm so sorry. Go the African way. You know, like, I was struggling to use a spoon because I'm not used to it. Go ahead, get rid of the spoon. Thank you. Do it the right way. Thank you. <laughs> you know, when you eat with your hand, you feel good, it tastes good. It, you know, you've got a right to communicate with your <laughs> hand and your mouth. <laughs> mm. It's all parts working together mm. to get to a common goal. What is, the name, what is the name again? Dry rice. Dry rice. And everybody has different ways of making it. Some people make it with corned beef, uh, with the rice. Uh, you can add okra, you can add gravy, you can add pepper, you can add chicken. Uh, fried fish, you know, the egg. Everybody has their spin to their recipes, but this is the basis of it. And it's really just a medley of all the things that make Africa great. Like, I personally like to put okra in mine. Um, another thing, I don't know if they eat it anywhere else, but venice is literal, the sunflower seeds. They roast them, they grind them into kind of like a powdery spice. And it can be added on fufu, it can be added on dry rice. It adds a special taste to everything. Um, yeah, this is a definite Liberian traditional meal. You just taste it. You got the pepper, you got pepper to death, which happens all the time. <laughs> and then gonna, you got... I'm gonna challenge myself. And I know I don't have enough time here, but I still gonna try this one. Do it again. Okay, we gotta do it with the hands. Let's say a prayer. <laughs> Is it less pepper with the hands? Same amount of pepper? I told you the hand <laughs> dissolved everything. I think I, I felt the pepper so much because I was using the spoon. You see? This is why you need to try using your hand to eat. I'm lying to you guys. It's a boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing episode. I'm going to see you oh. in the next one. I am Maya. Don't forget to go check out her YouTube channel. Go subscribe. Yeah, how many subscribers do you have now? 4,000. I'm crying. 4,000. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers. Oh. Let's get you more water. <laughs>